Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at a Linux distribution. This channel, we typically take a look at various Windows distros, but in this video, I wanted to take a look at a Linux distro that caught my eye on Google. This is Catchy OS. Catchy OS is, quote, a blazingly fast and customizable Linux distribution that is designed to deliver lightning fast speeds and stability that ensures a smooth and enjoyable computing experience every time you use it. They promise that whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting out, Catchy OS is the ideal choice for those looking for a powerful, customizable, and blazingly fast operating system. So a lot of bold claims for an operating system that I've never heard of, but we're here to give it a chance. Now, this is based off of Arch Linux, which I found very interesting, because at first I thought, okay, it's built off Ubuntu because it's designed for anybody. Uh, but this is an Arch-based distribution which we haven't taken a look at that many of those on this channel, if any. This does come with a wide variety of desktop environments, uh, window managers, uh, various things you can pick from. All I did was I went to the download page and then I downloaded the desktop edition. So we'll see what desktop environment we actually have. So let's go ahead and boot up Catchy OS here. We're going to boot into the default here. Uh, we can see right there exposed, this is Arch Linux. Um, I actually haven't used Arch Linux in quite a long time. It's probably been, probably since, at one point on this YouTube channel, I had a series where I was supposed to try and use Arch Linux as my main OS. That series ended right before COVID began. All right, and this is what we booted into. So hopefully, yep, there's no password on this. Um, okay, this could be a slight problem because I don't know the password. There was never one given to me, so I'm going to have to go dig for this now. All right, and so I went on the forums, and I actually found this issue. Apparently, it's something to do with NVIDIA graphics drivers somehow. Um, so what I had to do in the bottom left was switch to Wayland, um, and then it was able to log me in. So we want to go ahead and launch the installer, because remember, we're still booting off the live environment, and I want to give this a fair shot. So let's get the installer booted. I know this OS prides itself on being really quick, but the startup sequence was not quick at all, and launching the installer is not quick at all. It did just ask us if we wanted Grub as our bootloader, so I, of course, picked Grub, and here we go, Catchy OS Installer. That is the correct time zone, correct keyboard. Erase the disk, there's nothing on it. We do get the option to encrypt the system. I don't know if that's something that comes on, like, even ubuntu base, but that's the first time I've seen it in a Linux distro. You get to pick what desktop environment you want, which I think is really cool that you get to actually pick that. Um, as much as I would love to take a look at all of these, because it's been quite a while since I've taken a look at different uh, desktops, I will stick with the default Plasma because that's what we currently have. Although this does look like a lot like Ubuntu, but we'll go with Plasma. Next, I uh, will leave it again at the default. I'm not going to mess with anything. Username will be Catchy OS. Uh, password will be password don't come hack my system next and install and here we go catchy os is an arch based distro offering easy installation customizations and unique performance optimization installing right now all right so we are done installing we can now reboot and here we go i will say that i said it before this in an operating system that's supposed to be extremely fast installation was extremely slow but here we go, we want to boot Catchy OS Linux. We are now booting into our operating system. And luckily, I made the password password, so it's something I can remember. I was just freaking out about not knowing the password. But here we go. Logging into Catchy OS, Plasma made by KDE. We should get on the desktop where I can then adjust the resolution for us, and then we can take a look at the OS. All right, and here we are on the desktop. So we can see here that I actually, I like the default background here, I really do. Um, the taskbar is floating. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like some of those Windows 12 concepts I see on the internet where they always have the taskbar floating. I do like it, but it just seems like kind of a waste of space with, especially with this blank space under the taskbar. But I digress. Here on the right side of the taskbar, we have our peak at desktop, our system time. We have our up arrow, which gives us status notifications then have our network settings, we have disks and devices, screen brightness, which we can actually adjust screen brightness on a virtual machine. I didn't know that that was an option. That is pretty cool. And then we have our volume for, yeah, 
the output which does beep when you turn it up and then I also have a volume input for our microphone which there is no microphone in this VM. Over here on the left side we have Firefox which I am very curious to see what version of Firefox this is or if it downloaded a updated version when we installed the OS. And we have Dolphin as the file manager which yeah it doesn't have some of the fully fledged features of like a Windows or Mac file explorer at least I don't think it has like tabs or any of that stuff I do actually find tabs very useful now um, but regardless again Dolphin is the file explorer pretty cool and then we lastly have settings pinned to the taskbar um, which we'll take a look at and then we have our application launcher almost said start menu here we can see by default we have nothing in our favorites when you go to all applications we see quite a few different applications here I'm not gonna go through all of them uh, some a QT I don't even know what that is I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be honest I have no clue what the QT stuff is uh, GUI managers Vim volume control we have quite a few different applications here and then the application launcher is able to categorize it based on well, it's category. Uh, if you want to see your internet things, bam, here you go, SSH, VNC, Firefox. You want to see system-related things, here's everything related to system. Utilities, here's all of our utilities, including an emoji selector. And, of course, the GUI version of Vim. Pretty cool, to say the least. Let's go into system settings, take a look at what we have here. Um, looks nothing too much different from standard uh, Linux settings that we've seen. Um, we do get a lot of a lot of options here um, that we can take a look through. We're not going to look through all of them, but if we go to about this system, we can see catchy OS uh, graphics platform is what I had to change. So that's what we're using. We're using Wayland. Um, not bad, honestly. Uh, these are the specific versions of the various things we're running on this OS. I'm going to close that. Let's right click on the desktop. We can see that we can create a new all of these things. We can sort our icons or even lock our desktop, which is pretty cool. I do like that ability. We then have enter edit mode, which lets us add panels, add widgets. So, wow, there's a lot of customization here. We could add widgets to the desktop. So let's say that I want, uh, we'll, we'll throw a comic strip on there for fun. And let's add a panel application menu bar and exit. And now we have a menu bar at the top, similar to like Mac OS. So if I open up Firefox, I should see the menu bar. Well, maybe there might need to be some more customization I need to do because, oh, there we go. So I open Dolphin and now the file bar is up at the top. Again, similar to how Mac OS functions. Pretty cool. Um, and then of course we do have our widget where we can choose comics. Uh, you actually have to install them. I do really like the edit mode idea. Uh, that's something that I think even Windows or Mac OS should take note of. I do like that. Moving down, we have desktop and wallpaper. There are a lot of custom wallpapers here that we can take a look at. Um, wave, screenshot, there's a lot of cool ones here. Even have mouse actions, uh, location, icons. There's a lot of customization, again, because this is a customization-focused OS. And then we have our display configuration. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at disk usage. So on our internal drive, we can see that if I can figure out how to do this, let's see, there we go. We have 50.2 gigs free of 60 gigs. So it's a 60 gig disk. Uh, we're using about 9.8 gigs. So not bad, especially for a Linux distro. With that being said, this was Catchy OS. Definitely let me know what you think of this OS down in the comments below. And if you have any other operating systems you want me to take a look at, Linux or Windows, Mac OS, please let me know, as I love doing viewer recommended ISOs. With that being said, if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.